Hey, rest in peace and live it. Let me show you how to do it. Double part the ship and got my section getting to it. Now, I know y'all wondering how we got here, man. It's a long story, so spark you one and sit back and chill. Hey, it's a like button down there and she wants your number, bro. Now, let's rewind this shit and get into it. Hey, how you doing? MP, nice to meet you. Oh, you know my name. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Oh, you know my name. It would be weird if I didn't. Yeah, that's that's a good point. <laughs> You're right on time for your meeting with Mr. Novak. Elevators over there. Cool, cool. Yeah, thank you so much. Olive. Olive. Wow, that's a nice name. Um, it's a pleasure to meet you, Olive. Nice to meet you too. Welcome to the team. Thank you. MP. What's going Great on, to man? finally meet you. Oh, pleasure's all mine, man. Hey, I read the article about you in the pen down. You're one data-obsessed cat, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can never have too much data. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you came. Uh, look, this Shep thing, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need to put in some work to make sure it doesn't have a negative impact on the start of your career. Okay, yeah, so just like work hard, play well, make people forget Shep ever existed. Yes and no. Let's say we put you in the starting lineup tomorrow and you stumble a little bit. Normally, no big deal. Mm -hmm. But 68% of our fans wanted Shep, and of that 68%, 95% have a highly unfavorable opinion of you. Okay, so that's basically corporate speak for, they hate my guts. Correct. Yeah. Which means it becomes a story. Papers in this town are out for blood. I'm sure you saw the top take segment. Oh, I did. Okay, look, there's no reason to think that you're not gonna take off right out of the gate. But any hiccup in your play, and we've got a distraction on our hands. It's bad for your growth, bad for team chemistry, and it makes Phil Boyer look bad. Mm -hmm. He stuck his neck out for you on draft night. Okay, so what's the solution? Glad you asked. We identify key influencers in our biggest target demos, and we develop strategy to win their affections. Wait, wait so you're telling me my playing time is dependent on what? Whether Johnny TikTok thinks I'm based or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, it's ridiculous. But everything's connected. If we don't deal with this in a holistic manner, it could affect the bottom line. When the bottom line's affected, the governors aren't happy. When the governors aren't happy, nobody's happy. Okay. Um, I just want to be a pillar in this community, man. So if we can find a way to make this, you know, win the city initiative, be a part of that, I'm sold. But I also don't want to do a bunch of PR fluff, though. Same page, 100%. All right. Look, I've already talked with your whole team about this impressive group of people, by the way, and they're going to take a lead on it, OK? But my door is always open. Freddie, man, I appreciate your transparency, man. Truly. Just doing my job. Believe me, it is an honor to work with someone as talented as you, MP. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can accomplish together. <laughs> what up, kid? What's going on, man? Yo, I appreciate you being here, but like I said, you ain't gotta do this. What? This is this is the in-person treatment that you hired me for. Look, just remember this day when Barry and Associates shows up, trying to see if you need a new agent. <laughs> all, right? all right, yo, fair enough, man. <laughs> so where do we start, man? Let's just let's go on this little tour. Well, are you ready, Sire? Don't do that. Cut the little butler act, man. Act normal, bro. Ah, uh, yeah, that didn't even feel that right. Was, yeah, it was. All right, but check it out. Check it out. First up, we have the only runway in the world that can compete with Paris Fashion Week. <laughs> yeah, bro, that looks like a pretty normal hallway to yeah, me. Yeah, to the untrained eye, it's a normal hallway. But we both know that them pregame walks have made fashion icons out of Russell Westbrook, SGA, LeBron James. <laughs> I mean, the branding possibilities are endless, man. All right, I see you. Now, look, once you get some shine on the court, you know, getting your fashion bag, photographer's going to be all over you, bro. And the best part is, all you got to do is show up ready to work, look and fly. Come on, and I, and I can do that, can I? And yeah, maybe with a little bit of help, you can. Sure, I get fly. Hey, I get fly look, to it you. don't even matter. Right now, I just want you to focus on your game, right? Fashion can come later. So check this out. Talk to me. Down this way, you got the press room. Now, anytime you got some post-game media availability, mm -hmm. this is where you're gonna want to go. Okay. Now, Ashley will meet you tonight after the game to walk you over. You know, give you some more pointers. But mm -hmm. typically, it's gonna be on you to make sure you don't miss these opportunities. Sure. I mean, opening yourself up more for the press is just better for you. I mean, but you're a natural born leader, you get that. Bro, I do this, man. I could do media in my sleep. <laughs> all right, you know well, this. <laughs> well, one more note on that. The media is allowed all through this hallway. So you might get stopped for press time just when you're walking around. And because I said that, you are under the microscope here, all right? Bro, you ain't gotta Act make... accordingly, that's all I'm saying. You ain't gotta make it sound so intense, man. I got this. All right. What else you got for me? All right, well, down here is also the arena manager's office. You mm -hmm. probably not gonna go there much, but you know, just so you know. And also there's your standard generic meeting room. Now, once again, you're probably not going to use it much, but 
I mean, could come in handy if you need to have a private conversation. Right, right. Away from the prying eyes of the tabloids, right? Yes! Look at you paying attention. I, I like that. a little that. bit, man. <laughs> and then down further a little bit this way, you've got the locker room. And okay. looks like Coach Graves is waiting for you, actually. Okay. Uh, anything else? That's it. Now, I got to shake some hands before tonight's game, but uh, you go out there and have fun, man. Appreciate it, man. Again, man, it's always good seeing a familiar face in new settings. Man, don't even mention it. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> have a great game, man. All right, man. Here nice and early, love to see it. Just doing my job, coach. Humble and hardworking. Those qualities you like to see in a draft pick. But you already knew that. <laughs> Let me show you the locker room. Let's do it. So obviously you've seen one of these before. Nothing too unusual. Your locker's over there. The one with my name on it, right? <laughs> Quick study. We put the starter's name on the whiteboard over here before every game. Coach likes to keep things regular, but obviously injuries happen people perform or they don't, so it'll change from time to time. All right, well, hopefully it changes sooner rather than later. You keep doing the right things, you'll be there sooner than you think. Hey, that's the plan. All right, hey, come on, let me show you my office. Come on in. Now, I know you're anxious to find out how you're going to fit into the rotation. Coach, man, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hyped, man. You got no idea. Like I said. We wanted to see how you performed under pressure, so we put a lot of weight in your performance in the Summer League Championship. Oh, yeah, you were very clear about that. Good. So, we got together and talked about it, and decided the best role for you to start the year is as a solid rotation player off the bench. We'll get you the minutes. It's up to you to make the most of them. That's not exactly what I was expecting, but... I guess it's up to me to earn my way into the starting lineup. And you've got the potential to get there. But I don't want you focusing on that right now. Take it one day at a time, put in the work, and the results will follow. I've never been afraid of the work, you know? It's just I expect more for myself than this in the long term. I get it, 100%. Honestly, I'd be concerned if you didn't feel that way. You want to make it here? You gotta have a hunger to be the best. I mean, if you're not competing to be the best here, what are we doing? <laughs> exactly, what are we doing? exactly. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you wanna get dressed, you know where your locker is, and once you're ready to head to the court, it's a tunnel across from the locker room. Any questions? Ah, Coach, yeah, I'm ready. Let's get it. See you out there. Hey, what it do? How your mama there, man? We back with some more 2K, man. I hope y'all are enjoying the series. Our NBA debut game went absolutely horrible. <laughs> it went horrible, bro. As you can see, man, I'm backing him down, you know, getting big down there. He too small. He too small. But after that, it went downhill. I kept getting fouled. I kept getting fouled, bro, and I could not shoot free throws. Like, zero. I couldn't pass the ball. I couldn't shoot the ball. I couldn't even make a simple layup. That's not even the worst part. When I seen this man catch a putback and I hadn't caught one yet, I was pissed. I knew it was time to get in the gym. You good? Hey, uh, yeah, I just got off the phone with Othello Akpem's assistant, and uh, the big boss man wants to see you. What about? I mean, he's not one of those super hands-on GMs, is he? Nah, I mean, that's not really his reputation. So... Honestly, I don't know what this is about, man. I mean, I tried to press his assistant for some more info, but all he told me was that Coach Graves will be there, too. Um, okay. Something about this feels off. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You got any advice? Go in there with an open mind, see what they want to talk about, and come back here and we'll talk about it. All right. Bet. 
Hey, Olive. MP, how are you? Well, I can't complain. A little nervous, but I can't complain. Uh, it looks like you're with Mr. Akpem today. Yeah. Uh, where is he again? Same floor as Mr. Novak. Okay. Uh, you got any advice for me? On talking to Mr. Akpem? Yeah, well, you, you, you've been working here for some time, you know? Oh, I don't really know him like that. Um, but you're a smart guy. <laughs> I'm sure you're gonna be fine. How do you know I'm a smart guy, though? <laughs> I can read people, and you're smart. Cool, thank you, but uh, okay, so what number am I thinking of right now? I said I could read people, I'm not psychic. I, it's, it's kind of the same difference, a little bit. It's a little different. <laughs> Aren't you gonna be late for your meeting? Yeah, I probably will be. Um, same elevator as usual? Yes, they haven't moved. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, well, it's nice chatting with you. Uh, I'll see you later. Good luck. Thank you. MP! Come on in, take a seat. What's up, MP? Coach Graves, <laughs> it's the Ak Pim. What'd I tell you about that? Othella, please. I'm in my bag, you got it. So, about Shep. Oh boy, you too. Now just listen. We knew the PR hit we'd take for picking you over him. But that's all just outside noise. Inside these walls, all we care about is ball. All right, well, I'm willing to put in the work. On and off the court, so whatever it takes. I actually spoke to Freddie Novak. You talked uh, to Freddie. Did I do something wrong by talking to Freddy? Freddy's a nice guy. I like him. But all this stuff about controlling your own narrative, you're a ball player, not a politician. We put together a very specific game plan for you. You hit these goals, you're in the starting lineup. Simple as that. Okay, Freddy made it seem like I had to do a bunch of PR stuff just to get my shot with the starters. That's flat out wrong. This Shep stuff has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with your playing time. I want you to focus on your craft, not this PR stuff. Am I clear? Crystal clear. Good. I don't need to keep you. But if you ever want to talk, or if Freddy gives you a hard time, whatever, my door is always open. All right. Thank you, Mr. Ogpen. Othella. Don't mention it. Thank me by putting in the work. All right. See you, coach.